Welcome back everyone. So the first one box opening went okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the second box. And uh, by the way, this is Predator's World coming to you with our box opening of Star Wars Tops Chrome 2024. This is a hobby box, uh, one autograph, and hopefully lots of other cool stuff. And I still haven't gotten a new blade yet, so don't do this at home. Don't do it at home. All right, I would love to get another Reflections. So cool. Take the packs out again. Hopefully it's not too loud. And I hate it when it crinkles. I need to, like I said, get it hooked up to my computer and my nice mic so that I'm not using the camera mic. But today, using the camera mic, there was a couple blurry spots in the other one. It did clear up quick, so I'm going to try to make sure that you guys can see the cards okay prior to me going through them all. All right, so let's get started. First pack of our Star Wars Tops Chrome Hobby Box. Uh, B2 Emu, I think that's the very first one on the last box, too. Deidre Miro, and let's move these out of the way. Cassian Andor, IG-11, Colonel Tuttle. Man, is this the same pack? I feel like, because I just opened it and everything looks the same. Job of the Hut, Poe Dameron. Hopefully it's a better signature though. Chewbacca, and a Rise of Palpatine. Everyone loves this one. Luring the Rebellion into a trap. It's a trap. All right, what do we got here? We got a purple. Oh man, are we gonna open our signature like right away? 199, no, good. I saw that character and I was like, I don't even know who that is. So let's not do the signature there. Uh, Toro Calicon. We will sleeve it up just cause it is a numbered purple. Is it parallel? Is that what they call them? And we'll throw him up there. Make sure you guys can see him. All right, moving on, pack number two. Do, 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 do. Darth Vader, still waiting to get a cool card of him. Aunt Baru, still not putting him in the right spot. Uh, Freck, Freck and Freck, Mudhorn. Let me go back a little and make sure you can see it. Carillion Hound, Commissioner Hellgate, or Doc, Kit Fisto, Luminara, Unduli, Unduli, the Eris, Bokatan wields the Dark Saber. That one would be cool in like a gold or something. And a regular refractor, Yoda. I don't know why I didn't put this one over there as well. All right. Keep it going, keep it going. I'm going to head to the card shop again today. See what I want to get. See if they got some cool stuff. Uh, Quill. Cobb Vanth. The Twins. Twi'lek. Luthen Ron. Sabulba. Oh, a Jar Jar. Can't have a box opening without a Jar Jar. Kanan Jarus. Oh, we got a, oh, I don't think I have this one. Rebel Alliance, Leia Organa. This is the Ewok one. Oh, we got it to 50. Oh man, there is a horrible line it looks like going down. That's messed up. Uh, to 50, Eris Boktan. Pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna put Leia over there. We are gonna sleeve this to 50, even though it has that horrible line in it. Okay. 
because it is still cool. I think that's the second Eris that I've gotten that was a uh, to 50. All right, let's move along. If I can get this open here. All right, Grand Admiral Thorn, John Riva, Lola, Pit Droid, Steel Pecker, C3PO, Luke Skywalker, Django Vet, and a regular refractor of Tatooine Sand Beast. And this will put us halfway through after this one. I'm enjoying this set a lot so far. Uh, I would like to hit something pretty big that's uh, like a sketch or something, but I feel like you have to do the delight boxes. I don't know if you've seen those. It's like a box with one pack in it, I think, but it guarantees, I think, two signatures in it. Uh, so two autographs, but those boxes are, I think, around $400. Pretty crazy. Uh, Jason Sindula, Tatooine Sand Beast. Now I will say in those delight boxes, I have seen some pretty crazy pulls as far as a lot of sketches. Um, and then obviously you're guaranteed two autographs. The modifier, Garza Whip. So I'm tempted to do one, but there's stores out there that have the delight box and they require that you have them rip it. I'm like, you want me to pay $400 for a box and I don't even get to open it myself? That sounds horrible. So you're making money off me and then want to make more money off me. So I, I don't agree with that concept, so I probably won't ever order from them. Hold on to your $400 box. <laughs> Padme. Ezra. Finn. And a Rise of Palpatine. The Jedi's attempt to seize control. Poor Mace Windu. If he only knew what was going to happen. Looks like maybe an orange. Yep, an orange to 25. 6 out of 25. Colonel Tuttle. Let's get Colonel Tuttle in a sleeve. I don't think I'll give Colonel Tuttle the center. He's got to go to the side a little. Not a super exciting one. I mean, it's to 25, so that's cool, but still. Not a super exciting. Uh, this is the first pack on the left side of the box. So let's see how this one goes. Do, do, do. Marva Endor. Era. She's cool. Cool character. Berg. Rhea Organa, fifth brother, Han Solo, Mace Windu, Qui-Gon Jinn, man. And there is our signature, Sully Stark. I don't really know who that is whatsoever. To 199. Um, let's look on the back. Maya Erskine. Okay, again, armor, regular refractor. Not a super exciting signature. That's the one thing I will say about these. Uh, and it's only to 199. Like some of these boxes are not so great. But there's our signature. You can get two signatures in a box if you get uh, the case hit. Um, I've done that once on one of the boxes because I did get two signatures out of one of the boxes. Uh, it was a to five. So pack, Captain Enoch, Bokhtan, Dresh. I think I'm probably too close to the camera. Grogu, Sentikas, Neonum, General Hux, Lando Calrissian. And the Refractor Galactic Gear of Padme. I like that one. It's pretty cool. 
So we should at least get one more numbered. Hopefully we get something a little bit bigger hit. I might have to go to the delight boxes. These are a little disappointing compared to the last boxes I opened. Shin Hati, Fixer, Boba Fett's Rancor, Pale Arcana, Vane. It's another one of those packs that's like warped. General Grievous, one of my favorite characters and one of my favorite cards out of this set was from him. I'll show you after, at the end. It's a, a to 50 one of his. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the Eris. And Maz Kanata. You know what I haven't seen in this box or the last box? The Arabish cards. I don't know if I had any in that last box. Oh man. Am I going to get my first die cut? Because I have not had a die cut in the first five boxes. Alright. Uh, Saw Gerrera. Shorian Shard. Lekt Nakru. Taladurth. The Grand Inquisitor. Toro Kelican. Supreme Leader Snoke. Kira. K2SO. Man, some of these cards are click manufacturer problems. And my first die cut is going to be, it looks like a gold, I love you. 39 out of 50. Oh, in the Ewok Village. Pretty cool. That is my first die cut. And it's out of 50. I've seen a lot of these, but I've seen most of them in that, that pink, which is like a out of 99. That's pretty sweet. I don't know how well it's going to stay on the stand, but. Very cool. That's a nice hit. First one out of six boxes. It's the sixth box. You, let me make sure you guys see it okay. Pretty cool. I like it. All right, this box got better just with that one there. But that's about it. Again, the signatures are just lacking in some of these boxes. The Rancor Keeper, Ahsoka Tana, Tano, Fennec Shand, Pelimato, Grief Cargo, Karga, Captain Bomba Deer, Director Krennic, Emperor Palpatine, Ayla Secura, and a regular refractor, the modifier in that last pack. All right, so in all honesty, it wasn't super exciting, these last two boxes that I got. Um, the signatures, again, not so great. Like, I'm gonna show you the signatures I've gotten so far. Here, we'll just cover these up. That's the one from the last video I did. You guys probably saw that one. This video's, and then let's show you the others that I got. I got this one, Lita Mothma, which is Bronte Carmichael. So not numbered, nothing super exciting. Uh, the Client, out of 150, um, Werner Herzog. So not bad. I mean, I think I've seen him in other things. Nothing super amazing. This one, which is just some strange alien guy, Bistan, which is Nick Kellington. So, and that one's out of 99. So, I mean, that's it, at least it's a lower number than the 150 and the 199s. Uh, Karis Nimic. So this one is out of 50. 28 out of 50. Again, nothing special. Alex Lothar. I'm going to overload this. And then the best one, I think, out of all my signatures is probably Minweaver, this one here. It's a three out of five, so it's a red. Um, and I actually know the actor because I watched the show House. It's a hospital show. It's really good. Um, but I watched every season of it, But and this actor's in 
the majority of the seasons. I don't think he's in all of them, but uh, but yeah, Min Weaver, and his name is Peter Jacobson. Uh, so that's the best one I've gotten out of it, and he still obviously isn't like a real well-known character. And that's six hobby boxes. So, I mean, you guys be the judge. What do you think of those signatures? Six boxes worth? Boxes, I think, right now are running around $250. Um, so I feel like the money just isn't there to like justify the po price, price box or the box price. But that's just me. Uh, it's fun to rip them. Uh, I do like the cards. But I feel like you have to spend that money for that Breaker Delight box in order to get anything, any other really cool stuff, unless you're just super lucky. I did get one other cool card, and I'm showing you everything now. Uh, so this one here, the Rise of Palpatine, it's a three of five. Um, which is neat, but it's not even the best Rise of Palpatine card either. Uh, but 3 of 5 is pretty rare. Oh, I was going to show you the one I really liked. So I did get this, which is really cool. That's the writing that I was telling you about. I can't believe that we have not had a single card in those last two boxes with this Arabish writing. But Jen Erso, uh, out of 25, that one is pretty cool. Um, but this is my favorite, I think, out of all of them. General Grievous, out of 50, and I just think that gold card with that purple going through the back looks really cool, really amazing. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments. You think that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think of all of the signatures. Like, is it, does it, do you feel like it's worth it to you guys? Because um, I feel like, They've got a lot of obscure characters uh, in the signatures. And when people are raising the prices of the boxes to what they're raising them to, it just seems like it's out of control. I know, I don't have to buy them. But I like to. We like them. All right. Thanks for joining everybody. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go to the card store today. I'm gonna see if they got any more, um, if they got anything else that I want. Uh, otherwise, we will see you next time.